Um. Hello everyone, welcome to iBook Stadium for our first ever vlog here at Four Lads. This is what you asked for, you asked for us to be on screen and I don't know why you would want to see this but here we are anyway. It is match day, it's Rangers versus Hibs and this is it, this is the running, this is the excitement. Shona, it feels like it's finally real. Yeah, we're back, aren't we? After a few weeks off, I think this was, uh, it's been a tough international a couple of weeks, isn't it, with no Rangers and obviously the game getting cancelled up in Dundee, so I think this is the, the first game that we've had at home since the Benfica match, so yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, the last league game obviously was Motherwell, which didn't go well, and then the last cup game has been Benfica, so we could really do with this going well. The team news is out, there is, as always surprises, but we go with Jack Bolton and goals, James Tavernier, Connor Goldson, John Suter, Borna Barisic, John Lundstrom, eh, Mohamed Diamande, Todd Cantwell is in, Scott Wright starts on the right hand side, Fabio Silva left and Cyril Dessers up top, on the bench we have McCrory, Lawrence, Matondo, Seema, Sterling, Balogun, King, Raskin and McCausland, so the bench is fantastically strong, but that starting lineup showing any surprises in there for you? I think probably the one is the Scott Wright one. I didn't. I think nobody probably expected Scott Wright to start today, and then obviously you've just got your usual. I think some of us maybe expected the midfield as well with Tom Lawrence maybe coming in. I think yep. I've seen him on the bench and Diamandi, but look, it's a strong bench. I think that's the one thing that we have to look at. It is a definitely it's a it's a strong bench. So yeah, thoroughly looking forward to today. I think the last couple of matches against Hibs have been really really positive. Um, I think we took. A few stats down that we've averaged about 20 shots on target. You took a few stats down, you mean? I don't do uh, this sort of thing. So we've you did. averaged about 20 shots on goal with a, an average of maybe seven or nine shots on target. So, yeah, we're probably expecting goals and uh, hopefully another couple of clean sheets. Well, I should have said a clean sheet today. I think we've had two against Hibs this season. So Three? I don't think they've scored against yeah. us. It's been 4 0, 3 0, 2 0 in the Cup. And obviously, two, two games to go against Hibs should they finish in the top six, which they look likely to do, although you know Dundee are pressing them, we could have a say in that obviously with playing both Dundee and Hibs again today, but yeah, I mean, Hibs are more likely to come out a wee bit, aren't they? So th there should be space, Hibs are playing 4-3-3 again, Boyle's back in the bench for them, it is an unchanged 11 for them, we don't have that to hand, but Lafondre does start up front, so it is interesting, they're going to go quite attacking, they'll play quite open, which should suit us in a way, I think. But Rangers need to win that midfield first of all. Lundstrom, Diamandi, Cantwell, I think is key. Yeah, I think Cantwell for me has been a massive miss in the past few games. Yeah. I think what we've noticed, um, I think the two of us have noticed a lack of creativity as well. Mm -hmm. So, no, look, I think with Cantwell back in that number 10 role, I think we should see a lot more creative um, bits of play today. And uh, I think for me, I think the set pieces will be the, the, the key for sip hips today. I think they're, they'll be looking at trying to get as many free kicks and corners as possible and trying to put pressure on us that way. But yeah, like you said, I think um, for me, the big one is seeing Seema back. Yeah, Seema back from the bench could be absolutely fantastic. But let's hope when he does come on today, if and when he does, we're in a comfortable position to do it, folks. I'm a wee bit surprised Scott Wright's in there again. I think that's just naturally because he right, is right-sided. McCausland and Sterling, who could have played out there, maybe not so fresh after Knox. Silva on the left again is quite excited. I'm hoping that he and Dessers will be kind of buoyed by international goals. So I'm hoping for and Borna coming at left back. That is what it is. I've said a lot about Borna. I think we're all kind of resigned to the fact that maybe Shona, he's not going to be here next season, but he, he still needs to perform while he is. Well, he's still a Rangers player, isn't he? And then, as I said, like um, for me, you can't dispute what, what Borna buys. I think we only paid about a million pounds for him. So yeah, I think um, Borna has obviously probably. Not overstayed his welcome, but for me, he's done, he's done his job at Rangers. I'm looking, it's time to say goodbye to him in the summer. But look, he still can do a job for us today, especially when we're talking about, I think a lot of the, the fans out there want to know more about set pieces and corners. Maybe Borna Barisic can come up with the goods today. I certainly hope so, folks. We'll be back during the game with all the goals in this new format. Um, let's see how we get on. Come on, Rangers. <laughs> Uh, 28 minutes gone at Ibrox. What a start it's been. Rangers had a penalty kick so about five minutes ago. James Tavenier stepped up. He missed it. Scott Wright slammed in the rebound for 1-0 for Rangers. It went to VAR. Scott Wright encroached and because Rangers missed the penalty, he was seen to gain an advantage and the goal was chopped off. And Rangers went again. John Lundstrom got in down the left-hand side. He whipped in a brilliant cross. It's headed out, I think, by Fish. And James Tavenier on the ball. He rifled it flush home. 1-0 to Rangers. Shona, what a goal that was. It was indeed, and I think we got off to a really, really good start. Well, a couple of silly fouls here, but no, I 
that goal we're all, we, we got, we managed to go off to a great start and obviously that goal, I think after the penalty miss, we really needed that. So, um, but no, absolutely brilliant from James Cavanier and that now makes him the all-time defensive British top goal scorer in history. Yeah, fabulous from James Cavanier. Rangers lead by one goal to nil. Right on the stroke at half time, Hibs have equalised. It was a ball in by Diamandi trying to break the Hibs defence down. It wasn't broken down. Hibs broke, they managed to get it to the right hand side. He played it in. Tavernier couldn't get back either. It's 1 1 by Mayo. Mayo leader right on the stroke at half time, Shona. Just exactly what we didn't want. No, I think we've been seeing throughout this whole game that they've been trying to hit us on the counter attack and it was just one ball right through. And we failed to deal with it. Um, both the both centre backs couldn't get rid of the ball, and it was easy enough for uh, Hibs to Hibs to score and get rid of the goalkeeper. And yeah, it was a really really poor goal to give away. I think this game is a wee bit. It's been one of those games where I think we've dominated the game, but we haven't really created much. Um, but like as, as I just say, they've tried to hit us on the counter attack. They did that there for against us. So was yeah. that a good goal to give away? Rangers are trying to attack at the moment. Uh, we've had a lot of the ball, but. Just not really clinical enough. Barisic swings one in. Desser oh! tipped over. It is 1 1 at Ibrox well, just going up to half time. Right on the stroke at half time. Rangers lead by 2 to 1. Brilliant play down the right hand side. Carwell gets it. He whips it back. And there is Shona's boy Cyril Desser's heading it in off the crossbar. And what a goal that was. That was lovely, Shona. Oh, that's my boy Cyril Desser's. The one that you've been giving stick off even to. Didn't even celebrate, she just turned to me straight away and said, That's my boy. Rangers lead 2 1 right on half time. The whistles win. That was a brilliant goal, by the way. A really fantastic goal. Rangers lead 2 1. The Bulls are for the referee, who's been quite ridiculous. But Rangers lead, that's the most important thing. 2 1 half time. It's 3 1 to Rangers in 84 minute. Lovely play by Rabbi Matondo, who's come on the left hand side. He cut in on his right hand. His right foot, sorry, and he just fired it into the corner. Renaissance in of Harvey Lounge's goal for Newcastle just earlier on. It's won their game. That was a cracker. It's 3 1 to Rangers, Shona. We needed that. That's been a good one. Another, another bizarre decision by this referee. Honestly, this referee today, honestly, has been giving the most stupid fouls away. I have no idea what he's playing. He's completely lost the ball. The Rangers are 3 1 up, and the atmosphere is absolutely brilliant, Stevie. Yeah, it is. Rangers, listen, they've needed the fans in the last 10 minutes and the fans have been brilliant. This game, Rangers have been in control this second half. They missed chances. Tom Lawrence went through. It should have been another one. It wasn't. And then we needed that big moment. Rami Matondo comes in and just t- belts it home in the right hand, the right foot. It's 3-1. This is the first time doing these three long things. And at least we're winning, folks. 3-1 Rangers. Just coming up for a full time at Ibrox. It's Rangers 3, Hibs 1. Man of match has just been given to James Tavernier. Attendance today 50,304. It's been Rabbi Matondo's goal just about 5 10 minutes ago that has really killed this one off as a contest. It's been a decent game. Hibs have came and they've had a go. They've knocked it about well at times and Rangers have stood up to that. It's been a good test for Rangers, which they've done well to come through. The second goal, Shona, to get that right when they did was a big moment. What a goal it was by your boy, Cyril Dessers. And that's the one, because Rangers in the second half, they've done well. Hibs haven't created a lot, despite being in the game. That's kind of fair, isn't it? Yeah, I think... Uh, sorry. I think sorry. sorry. Um, no, I think overall, I think Hibs are trying to catch us on the counter-attack. And I think, I think in the second half, we managed to nullify that. There hasn't been that many too many chances in the second half. But what we have done is we've dominated and obviously we've got to manage to get that third goal that kills off the game and see us see us get three points today at Ibrox. So no, I thought the Dexter's goal was probably the, the best of the of the three. I think obviously as well with the Matondo goal from outside the box. But that's my boy again, adding to his goal scoring Sally and uh, yep guys, can't wait to see you all in May when uh, Dexter scores 20 goals. But what did you think of the game so far? I think at times in the first half Rangers have lacked a wee bit of control, but Hibs have knocked it about quite well and Hibs have played well and they made a contest of it, they've kind of came out, but Rangers have done well too. And I just think that when we needed that wee bit of quality right on half time, Cantwell, who played a good 55 minutes, he was good for it, whipped in a great cross, and that's pivotal because if you go in at 1 1, it's a different kind of game. 
so that's, that was a big moment, but Sol's getting the third goal right on time. It just stops that pressure from Hibs at the end of the game, which you expect would probably have come. This has been a big win for Rangers. They're all big games now. Just get the points, keep winning. There's been some good game time as well. And another bad tackle. And Rod Kibasiri finally goes into the boot. An attack on Tom Lawrence. But Rangers have been well worthy of this. They've been good today. And um, it's good to see Sima Matondo on the pitch. It's good to see Lawrence and Cantwell getting minutes as well. Sterling back in it. So it's been good for us. Borna obviously went off at left back after being cautioned. I think that can't risk him being out next week if Redman isn't fit. But overall for Rangers, this is... It's a case of job done. Could they play better? Yeah, they probably could, but Hibs are a strong side and playing for top six, so any win today would have done me. I think Hibs are improving un under Montgomery, but it's all about Rangers, obviously. And Getting those three points, hasn't it? It's yeah, all it's absolutely. And Rangers have done well through that, so this is we're kind of playing it out now, just kind of towards the end of the, the game, obviously, and this will be a good three points for Rangers. Shona, someone's up. Who's been your man of the match in today's game? Oh, all right, oh, that's, that's an interesting one. I would probably go with Cyril Dessers. I think he's held the ball up well today. He's got his goal. And you know me, I'm always going to save my boy Cyril Dessers. But yeah, I think overall, I think the atmosphere has been really, really good today. Even though we've had um, uh, quiet moments within the game, I think the fans have really, really got behind the guys. So, no, I would say probably my man in the match would probably be Cyril Dessers. What about you? Yeah, I think the captain Tavernier has done really, really well. He, um scored a great volley after missing his penalty and came back. I think Lundstrom's done well in the middle as well. John Suter, I thought the Suter and Goldson were quite ropey for the goals, but Suter's been excellent. Seema's through. Just hold on a minute. Oh, oh, just wait, just wait. Holding lights right on the stats time, I think now, ladies and gentlemen. Seema could have been in there, but it just shows him playing through the middle. He was going in the right-hand side. I think it is going to be full time. Yeah, it is. Full time for my Rangers have the three points. Rangers three, F1. Here we march on to next Sunday's Old Farm Shona. Thank you very much, guys. Looking forward to it.